Okay, I think, um, first of all, stick your hands out like this in front of you. Go on, all of you. <coughs> Wiggle your hands. We need a bit of exercise. Now, move your hand across your shoulder. Do the same thing. Well done. Pat's on the back. You deserve it all. <laughs> well done for both continuing through this day and for what you're going to do on into the future. It's been a banquet of a day and it needs a lot of digesting. But I hope that f feeding ourselves on what we've heard and seen and experienced today will give us the kind of energy and strength that we really need uh, to take this set of agendas forward. So a real pat on the back for what you've done and what you're going to do. I'm not going to try and summarize today, but I think one message out of the very many that have come to me and to us today is about attitudes to young people. I think we heard over and again how so often in our society, young people are seen as an object to sell to, the trainer story, or as a group to be demonized. That word was used on a number of occasions. And uh, Camilla batman Kalik spoke about the structural uncare towards our young people. And we've heard also about the examples, the contextual examples of just as bad behavior in sectors of our society as we saw in the riots last August. Uh, it's not just our young people. There is a whole range of bad behaviors uh, by quite other, other sectors. I could go on and pick out other issues, the fear factor, the media that we've heard on, the emphasis on what works rather than what, on doesn't, what doesn't work, not writing people off, whole series of messages that we've been given and we can take away uh, with us today. And I thought the intermediate theater uh, captured some of those things extraordinarily uh, well and energetically for us. Perhaps the phrase that I heard today, which I shall take away, and I hope the young people will, was be a voice, not an echo. I love that. I thought that was really good. Be a voice, not an echo. And I think if our young people can hear that and be the voice of themselves, and that we can assist them in being their voice, not the echo of commerce, not the echo of politicians, or indeed not the echo of the faith communities, but themselves, uh, then we shall have a, a young uh, generation uh, that we can all be proud of. A last word of real appreciation uh, to people who've made this possible. First of all, to the Fair Shares Foundation and to Maurice uh, Ostro. This would not have been possible as previous events without the Fair Shares Foundation uh, and without Maurice uh, Ostro's input, both personally and intellectually, as well as uh, financially. Uh, and also from my part, and I know Alex is going to add to the thanks, but a real thanks to the technicians here at the venue, the whole range of people, the catering staff, the video and photography people. We hope to have lots of visual material up on the Faith Forum for London website uh, in the near uh, future. And, and do remember the Faith Forum for London uh, is made up of those nine faiths uh, that were mentioned by, uh, I think were mentioned just a few moments ago, all nine. And all have played their part uh, in the healing uh, of the disturbances of last year. And I think perhaps if I have a criticism of today, we haven't quite heard enough from some of the other non-Christian communities here. We've heard a great deal about what the churches have been doing, and that's good and fine. But I'm personally aware uh, of a huge amount that other faith communities have done. And if I had to take one, it wouldn't actually be from London, but the iconic picture of Tariq um, uh, Jahan from Birmingham uh, in front of this mob after his sons had been killed what more of an example could one have uh, as to how to address these terrible issues than that? So I want to play tribute, pay tribute myself to the other faith communities who perhaps haven't heard, we haven't heard from quite so much as we might wish to uh, today. Alex. 
I've only got thank yous to add to that. Uh, he's got the CBE, that's, uh, that's why he does such, such a good job. Um, and he's got it recently, so there, there we go. Uh, um, I, I've got a few thank yous. Uh, thank you. Apparently we've got little goodies for them. I don't know if you want to hand them out now, but I apparently at the end. But I just want to thank the day volunteers, because this wouldn't have happened without them. So I want to thank Aman, Annette, sorry if I'm reading, this is very rude, I should remember them all, Judy, Raphael, Victoria, Preet, and the Ostro team, Team Ostro. Uh, and they'll be given a little thank you present from, from all of us. I also want to thank the dedicated staff and volunteers, both of the Fair Share Foundation and the Faith Forum for London, Ahmad Ali, Juliet Bianco, Nora Negrati, and they'll also get a small little something from Phil later. And also, can I thank a big round of applause for, for Shana DeVoe, who came in because we recruited her in Geneva. It's a long story. She can explain it later. But she, she, she's been uh, Phil Rosenberg's uh, uh, partner in this for the last, I don't know, three months or so. So can you put your hands together for all those great people? <laughs> I, I also... I also want to thank Chelsea Football Club, uh, um, uh, not because I'm looking for a new job, but because they gave us a bit of a discount, and, uh, and I'm going to have to thank them again later on tonight, which is another thing with my FA hat on. Um, and finally, we want to call up Phil Rosenberg, who's not on my list of thank yous, because he <laughs> nothing happens without Phil. So oh, Phil de if Phil doesn't say thank you, it's, he doesn't get it. But I want you to put your hands together, because he's going to make a small presentation to Robert Pickett in a minute. But I want you to put your hands together, because this guy is amazing. He's put together this conference and the vision and also things that are coming out of it. So can you put your hands together for Phil Rosenberg? So just yeah. I was, I, was, I was at an evening event the other night, and there were five people in the room, and said, you're a very lucky person to work with Phil Rosenberg. I've had three meetings this week, this is a true story, Phil, about, uh, about various things with interfaith issues and community issues, and we all started with that saying how nice it is uh, to work along somebody like Phil Rosenberg. So uh, that's, a, that's a true compliment, and I think that's why so many people are here today, because they genuinely like working with you, like volunteering for you, and, uh, and like being part of what you're doing. So thank you for being our director and thank you for being this conference coordinator you're amazing but you've got a presentation to make now so thank you phil <laughs> well, well thank you i'm very humbled um but i wanted to thank robert piggott um who came in fairly last minute actually to anchor the day and provide a strong backbone to the the day's uh, events and uh, i know you like red so this is a, a bottle of red wine for you uh, to enjoy. Thank you so much for all you've done. Thank you very much. And as they, as they say in British Airways, we ended only 13 minutes late. <laughs> Have a safe trip home, everybody. Thank you.